Hello everyone, today we're going to be looking at the game mode Army Assault. Now this is a mini game in War in Order and it's um, been recently revamped. It's been completely reworked. It's uh, still got similar mechanics, it just works a bit different. Sorry for that background noise there. Um, so we're going to be looking at how to beat the final, final level and just kind of give some general tips on how to beat these game modes and how I how I did it other than um, upgrading your army which I'll show off as well. Um, and it will be pretty straightforward, it's pretty easy, fun game modes. Now there's lots of things you can do to power yourself up. You can increase your beast strength, your artifacts, just get your building power up, get your troops up, get your lord up so much and it gives you these tokens there and you can see there I just upgraded my army strength and once you do that uh, you become very very powerful so if you can get as high as possible and I feel like you should be reaching max about uh, month two or three into the server um, you're gonna find these very easy but Nonetheless, I'm going to show you how to beat this map and how not to do it. So this very first attempt is how not to do it. So you do not want to be taking these castles. These castles are like uh, a red herring in that you don't want to be splitting up your forces. So you see there I instantly messed up. I went north and I went south. That's not what you do. This is what you're meant to do. So we go. And we are sending, we're upgrading our, our bases, we're taking these castles. And instead of going north and south, we're sending everything to the south, center castle. Now watch what the AI does. All the AI are in sync, they go off to a, an empty castle that's closest. And you want to instantly go into that castle that they just left. Upgrade everything, just keep upgrading everything at this point. You're just trying to get as many troops as possible. Send your reinforcements, your AI, the enemy AI should be doing about the exact same as what I'm doing here. So if you copy everything I do here, you're going to be able to do it just fine. So our goal here is to conquer the south and once we own the south, we now own the majority. Now we just have to defend and build up and take what we can. And obviously you don't want this game mode to take up too much time. It's meant to be a quick fun thing and just get it out of the way so you can get the rewards. So you want to... Um, be defending and just kind of play it safe um, but when you do see an opening go for it now here I upgrade all my bottom ones to tier 3 I think that might have been too protective of me I don't think I needed to do that um, I think I could have kept them at tier 2 and just used those 20 troops but I decided to go to tier 3 just to be extra safe at this point I know I've won I've got multiple I've got five tier 3s Oh, sorry, four tier threes. It looks like I forgot to upgrade one, but that's okay. Another one's upgrading, so I'm assumed to have five tier threes, and now you just want to take out another faction. So I'm going up into green, and I'm going to absolute decimate this castle. I've got a lot of troops there. I'm going to decimate the middle castle, and then finally I'm going to conquer that leftmost castle. Now notice where I'm putting my reinforcements. I'm putting them in that bottom right castle in my center because I want the the enemy troops to choose between that one and the one above it and you saw as soon as I did that they chose the one above it and then I was able to send all my troops in because you of course have the advantage when defending but that you're building up over time and now that these we see all their troops attacking we can go in and take out all of their castles and it's just as simple as quick as that now obviously um, I'm very far through my army upgrading um, this is a brand new upgraded event and um, th your progress kind of carries over like you don't have to regain that amount of power and uh, yeah this for most kingdoms you're going to be being able to do all of these instantly the only limitation is that you can only do eight per day but everyone else in a new server don't fear if you can't complete it just yet once you um, get to about month two or three you should be having more than enough power to, to hit that upgrade button for your army and just upgrade your stuff i really enjoy this game and this is one of my favorite game modes i do think they've overbalanced it a bit or not overbalanced it but made it a bit too easy with the upgrades but that's because i'm kind of on an older server now um and i've got all my things upgraded so it is very easy for me but I, as a new player i can see this being a very very fun yeah, game mode and basically what you want to do as a general tip is to just always watch what the ai does if you look like you're going to lose just restart and analyze exactly what the ai does and that's how you're going to come out on top if you don't have the army advantage anyway that's all for this video thanks so much for watching cheers